You ever brought weed to Dubai? Fuck no. <laughs> That'll be the death of you. <coughs> when you get to Dubai, they got in the airport, big ass sign read, drugs are punishable by death. That's all I needed to see. I'm not bringing up. <laughs> nope, not me. <laughs> I'm not bringing nothing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, players and pimps, you inside the GGN. I'm your host with the most finding Nemo, aka Nemo host. And today I got another special guest that's a friend and a family member to the show. The one and only Ty. Dollar sign. What's the deal? Slow motion for me. What you rolling up over there? Oh, man. This some Louis 13, OG Kush. Shout out my brother, OG Louis. Oh, Louis got that? Yeah, man. You I need Louis? to see. I know. I've, I've been dealing with Louis for a long time when he was little Louis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Louis got Hubble boys and the sack. Hell uh, yeah. He got everything. His boys don't blow up, though. Some of the homies selling them boys that blow up. You got Hubble boy? Oh man, I got like eight of them bitches. You know how to ride? I said, you got like 25 of them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just wanted to have assorted flavors and sizes and you know. Yep. That's the new thing. I, I, I think the whole world gonna be walking around on those in about a year. Hell yeah. Like ain't nobody gonna be walking in real life. They're gonna be walking like, thank you, like a robot. You know what I'm saying? Well, most places, you know, they done banned them in New York City and like the airport. You can't even bring them on a plane no more, so I can't like. Are oh, you serious? Yeah. Oh, I mean, so you gotta have yours meet you there. Yep. Okay. What you working on right now? Right now I'm working on new music. I just dropped my album Free TC. It's going crazy. You know the singles going crazy. Saved, Blase. The one with E40 on it. Yep, yep. Um, shout out E40. Yeah, that's that thing, man. That's that thing. You and 40, y'all come together and make classic records, man. Yeah, How do it dog. feel to be able to have an OG like that that, you know, come when you need him, when you when you call? Man, it feels incredible. He's always been one of my favorite rappers growing up. And to be working with him, you know, feels good. Who you got featured on this album? Of course, E-40. I got Wiz Khalifa. I got YG 400. Joe Moses. I got TC 4800. I got all the homies, and then, uh, You got I Kiki got? Palmer? Yeah, she did an interlude on there for me. Young Kiki. A lot of people don't even know it's her. <laughs> but she can that's act. A, that's a Precious. <laughs> that's what she is, Precious? Yeah. <laughs> got her playing Young Precious. Yeah. So what is the purpose of your album? You know, because a lot of times people say, well, I made this record because I was feeling bad or the world needed this record, or yeah. I just, what is the purpose of this record that you making right now? Purpose of this record was just, you know, good music. And uh, most of all, I named it Free TC. Mm -hmm. um, after my little brother named TC, he's locked up right now here in California for a murder that he didn't do. Mm. I'm sure you know somebody that's Boy. going through the same thing, or somebody's. Wrongfully accused, You know, that's what we call that. Yep, and um, you know, I just wanted to dedicate it to him and everybody going through that same situation. And I'm taking the money from the project and putting it back towards his case. Well, fighting it, fighting it and, 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 and bringing it. it back up again? Yep. Yeah, making sure they go back to court the right way. Because there's a lot of brothers that have been locked up, you know, due to, you know, false or wrong imprisonment. Yep. It's just about, you know, bringing the awareness. And it's dope, but you could take an album like this and use that. Because there's a lot of us that can identify with you, so we're definitely going to support that for that reason alone. And I'm sure the album's going to be dope as a motherfucker like it always is. Did Absolutely. you did you produce on this yeah, record, or did I, you call in producers? I definitely produced on it, on damn near every song, and called in producers, you know. We all just helped each other. Um, it came together amazing. And, you know, just burning up the net, burning up all that shit. Let's get it, tear the game. Is it hard to have musical geniuses in the studio when you're trying to produce and write and sing and you're trying to allow them to be who they are. Is that part hard or is it easy for you just to step back and say, you know what, I'm gonna let this producer come in and do what he do and whatever he say go and when I get done with it, it's gonna be a magical thing. Uh, it's easy for me, man. It's, it's all a vibe. Um, nobody comes in with egos. Everybody comes in as 
you know, brothers and trying to just make the best song. Mm -hmm. So that's what we got. That's that old school spirit of the 70s that everybody was about making the song dope, like for the, for the main purpose of the song. Yeah. Not about me being a guitar player or you playing the piano. It's about making sure that this song is the best song that we can make. Mm -hmm. And when it comes out, it's our song. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Not just the artists, but everybody who participated in on it. Yeah. Do you enjoy studio life more or the tour life? Um, both. Like, I'm really, like, in love with the studio, but, like, tour life is my new love. Yeah. And, you know, it's fun, too. But I definitely love creating. But seeing the people, like, sing every word to what you created is like the butter on the bread, you feel me? That's dope. And, and, and your singles, Paranoid and or nah, certified? Certified, man. Certified? Certified. You got plaques? Man, I got So I can walk, next. I can come to the house and see a plaque on oh, the wall? Oh, man, you see a couple of them You hear things, me? Man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and you, what? These hoes ain't loyal. Yeah, man. Your number, pen was a part of that? Number one. What? Yep. Oh, Let's get God. it. <laughs> and I know you did too, and the you know, I was on the remix of that. Yeah, he was on the remix. Come on, man. man. I'm, you help, you help uh, set niggas. Me and 50. Up. You already know. Me and 50, you know, we seen, we seen what y'all had. Y'all had that thing, you know? We, you, we you recognize. You and your friends, me, you and Wiz. Come on, man. You Come on, man. We, we make music. We make magic, man. That's a beautiful thing for people to love each other and to be able to make that shit happen and, and to bring it to life. You as a writer, you as an as a, as a artist, as a producer, this has got to be the ultimate, man, to be able to go on tour and to hear people sing the shit that you wrote, even the songs that you didn't sing, but the ones that you wrote, that shit right there got to be an ultimate high. This is crazy. Who would you like to write for that you haven't wrote for that you think that you could do that same thing and duplicate a hit for them? <coughs> um, uh, Beyonce, uh, uh, Snoop. Uh, thank you, you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Beyonce. You, he gonna get you one too, but hey, I got to I'm first in line. Man, we gonna do a thousand of them things. Yeah, man, you're a bad boy. And your bloodline is Lakeside. Yeah, man, Pops. For those who don't know, Lakeside is one of my favorite groups from uh, Solar Records, mm -hmm. Sounds of Los Angeles Records. They was making that gangster, they was making gangster, gangster gangbang music in the late 70s, early 80s with uh, 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 Fantastic Voyage and uh, Your Love is on the One. Raid, Raid was a gangbang anthem. <laughs> this is a raid. <laughs> Do you ever think about redoing any of that music? It might be crazy. Um, I didn't think about it, but I should, for sure. Because you know what, when, when we come from, we want to be original and not be so connected to. And it's like, I respect what they did, but at the same time, if you don't touch your paw on them shit, because you could touch it and put a twist on it. Hell yeah. And you'll, you'll, you'll make the youngsters who probably don't know shit about it, because see, now the youngsters, what they're doing now, they're taking music from my era, from 90s and flipping that and making that the new thing because that's the era that they was brought up in. So if you go back to the 80s, an era that they don't know about, now you teaching them music and you putting that sound that was the shit back on the map again. Lakeside was the shit. That's just hard. I used to go to some of their shows and they definitely had, like sound exactly like the record. So that's one thing I learned from my, sh my shows, I try to sound like the record. So shout out to Pops and shit. Know, motherfucking Coolio, one of his biggest songs was the uh, the uh, Fantastic Voice. The remake. remake, yeah, nigga, that motherfucker was gigantic. Yep. He was going around the whole globe performing that. Yeah, yeah. No, for real though. So, hey, if he don't do it, Pops, I'm fucking with it. <laughs> I'm fucking with some Lakeside, from the East Side to the Lakeside. <laughs> they still around? They touring, all that. My dad ha hasn't been touring with them, but um, they still doing their thing for sure, for sure. Might have to get him a phone call and see what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm Stormy Fronts, and I'm reporting live from Erect, North Carolina. Everything is really hard and stiff out here. It's really warm as well, so be prepared for that. A lot of stiff traffic out today as well, guys, so, you know, watch the road. It's really hard out here, and it doesn't look like anything's softening up anytime soon. Everything is really hard and stiff out here. Is that enough? What they looking at, huh? No, you see the boy hot. What they looking at, huh? I know you see the boy hot. No, you want what I got. I know your girl got pop. Why you nigga make noise? I'm letting off like glass. 
Where they looking at, huh? No, you see the boy, huh? Where they looking at, huh? No, you see the boy, huh? No, you want what I got. I know your girl got pop. We inside the Smoker Studio. You know the game. Everyday people, aka real nigga shit. I'm gonna ask you some questions and you can answer to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up? First thing I do when I wake up is roll up and count my money. Hot or cold? I'd rather be cold and put some shit on so I can warm up. Favorite pair of shoes of all time? Would have to be uh, the Jordan 11s. Favorite drink? Favorite drink? Um, Bombay. Favorite strain of bud? Favorite strain of bud is OG Louis the 13th, OG Kush. Favorite sports team? Favorite sports team is the Lakers, baby. Weekends or weekdays? It's more weekdays, so weekdays. Got shit to get done. How many times a day do you think about sex? Um, I always think about sex. <laughs> For sure. Would you rather be an all-star football player or all-star basketball player? I'd rather be an all-star basketball player because uh, the football player niggas be getting concussions and all that <laughs> crazy shit. Will Smith, you fucked up when you put that movie yeah, out. Niggas, yeah. that's the first thing niggas, the first line, yeah, football, but all them niggas. concussions and shit. <laughs> Yeah, I would play, but shit, nigga, concussion. Shit. I'm trying to have my mind right. I got a daughter, man. I got to live <laughs> No, it ain't that dangerous. It's just, you know, it is what it is, man. Mm -hmm. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? If I could have a superpower, I'd be able to uh, teleport. Disappear on the bitch? For sure, for sure. So quick, so fast? Or have like a couple of me, like, so I could do. Oh, okay, a couple a of you. Shit at the same time. Yeah, that's the Dom Hussein shit. Yeah. A couple of you. <laughs> <laughs> send this nigga over here to do the. They made, they did, they assassinating the nigga. They trying to shoot him. Send that one over there to make sure the coast is clear. Yeah, yeah. Bah, they blasted that nigga. Well, that was the wrong one you got, nigga, because the right one is still here. That's cold. They keep asking me, Megan Good or Megan Fox. He don't want neither one of them. Uh, who's who's the hot who's hot who's hot right now, girl wise? Uh, Actress. Gang of hot ones. Actress. Actress. Yeah. I don't know. Who y'all think? I can't think of nobody right now. He's like, he's like, I got way too many bitches. I don't know. Niggas. <laughs> hey, niggas, niggas hold on. Niggas let me see real quick. TV, man. Uh, what's our, what's our uh, nationality? <laughs> I don't know who is. I don't watch uh, movies or TV. I like Zoe Kravitz. Yeah, I always she say Zoe. She different too. She yeah. she that kind of different pretty. I fuck with her. <clears throat> yeah, Zoe. So we're gonna have to say Zoe Kravitz and somebody else, cause she's mixed with Lisa Bonet and Lenny Kravitz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Zoe who? Saldana. Saldana. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. I actually, I actually follow Zoe Kravitz, so I kind of see what she's on. I haven't really seen what the other one's about, so I'll take Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz over Zoe Saldana, avatar you miss, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She might be better, who knows? That, now that's a nice picture of her. There you go. I, mean, I think I may have blown one with her before. I may have smoked one with her. Yeah, she fight. Yeah, I, I think so. I think I may have blown one with her. I might have, have one of those uh, VIP, all whitey then parties, you know, where all the niggas can't get in, but I got in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come back and get y'all. Y'all hold on. <laughs> You ever had parties like that where you couldn't get everybody oh, in? Man, and course. it was like, hey man, y'all know it ain't me, man. I'ma I'm gonna yeah, go on in yeah. here and see what this party about. <laughs> I went to one of my nigga uh, Tyrese <laughs> parties recently. His yeah, <laughs> parties is all the everybody motherfucking in up. <laughs> everybody could have get in. Yeah, niggas Tyrese moving like, on up. He in the top five now. He done moved like, up there with Jamie nigga? Fox now. <laughs> no, that's that transformer money. Nigga got the crazy ass sprinters and shit mm. parked out front. He made me get a sprinter. Yeah. Cause he was trying to sell me his. I said, God too. damn, I ain't got that kind of movie money. I'm gonna just build me one. The price he was selling it for was way too high. I had to get in my range. Oh. This nigga Slim talking like he ain't got this shit over here, man. This nigga got this big <laughs> ass compound, nigga, with the 80 motherfucking segways, nigga, the arcades, the studios. <laughs> My daughter was like, she was like, I'm like, I'm like, we gotta go to the studio. She's like, nah, I'm like, why? It's boring. I'm like, all right, well, we ain't gonna stay that long. We get here, she didn't wanna leave. She was like, can I come back tomorrow? <laughs>
Yeah, it's a different world for him, huh? Yeah. She had a good time? She had a great time, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's why I built this shit, man, for us and our family to come have a good time and just post up and do what we do. Man, I told her we was going to rehearsal tonight. She was like, I want to go back to the studio. You know y'all can rehearse here from now on? That, oh, you got the that live room? You didn't know that? I didn't know. Nigga, I built that too. Oh, for sure. We in here. You ain't got to go nowhere. <laughs> Nigga, that way when she say, can I go too? Yeah, come on back. Yeah, yeah. For real. Oh, he got to go? Oh, he got to do a show bigger than mine. That's what you was trying to say. Yeah, this, get this little shit over with so he can go do some real television. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have real programming, not just some made up shit as y'all go. It's made up shit. We on TV. We on Revolt TV, nigga. We starting. We started from the bottom. Now we're here. Still got a little, still got a little paper on the desk. Yeah, nigga. We on Revolt TV, nigga. We should have seen where we started from. Yeah, the garage. Thank you. Yeah. This shit started off with nigga hoping a dream. Church, preach, tabernacle. 